what I'm getting at is uh, I had to figure out how to like figure out what camera 101 is. So like when you were learning, what did you focus on first to get good at photography? So this is probably not the best way to think about it, right? <laughs> um, but I, I just, you know, kind of to what you're saying a little bit is there's only so many hours in a day. There's only so many hours in a week. And quite literally, I think it's 168 hours in a week in total, right? Assuming you don't sleep at all, um, which is incorrect. But um, <laughs> that being said, like, how do you split up that time? You know, if you if you think about photography in a way where you have the aspect of you take a photo, quite literally, pretty simplistic, right? You take a photo. Um, and then you also do most likely some type of post-processing. I would say for me, I realized that if I spent 65% of my time on post-processing, that is where I can make up most of the difference in a photograph. So that being said, to answer your question, most of my time was focused on the post-processing because that's where I would felt like I was the weakest. Interesting. Yeah, I so I'm not I'm not saying totally don't like focus on taking the photo. Don't I'm not saying that at all. But for me personally, I you know, I just didn't have the skill set within uh, Photoshop, honestly. So Right. And th so that's funny that you say that because I I'm very comfortable in Photoshop. So <laughs> I my my aspect was like, now, how do I figure out how to get the camera to do what I want it to do? So then uh, I like okay. I you know, going into YouTube, basically YouTube is like my <laughs> endless, uh, it's like my endless tutor. I just go there and <laughs> I, I look for, I look for, cause it's, there's directions for literally anything you can oh, have yeah. guys can, will tell you how to do your own electrical work. If you trust them on YouTube, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there's, there's something, there's something on there to tell you how to do literally everything. And it's a little bit insane because it makes me kind of angry about my about how much my uh, my degree cost. Now it's all <laughs> on there for free. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> but like I was looking up uh, it, what it basically zeroed in on was like understand ISO, S stop and uh, shutter speed. Like understand how that those three play together. And then once you figure that out, it's basically like a lens game at that point. Like I said, I haven't upgraded into like an awesome lens game yet. So <laughs> I think that that's like the next move. Um, so what do you like, you obviously don't know exactly what you're getting into every time you go out on the boat. Um, just because, you know, a different scenario every time. What, uh, what's like your, your equipment bag looking like when you go out? Great question. Um, and, and before I answer that very quickly, what camera did you pick up? What type of camera? Uh, a guy, Canon, Sony? I got a Canon. It's um, okay. <laughs> a Canon like Rebel T7i or something, TI7 or something like that. Awesome. But, awesome. Yeah, it was just like cool. I had practiced on a Rebel before. My buddy let me borrow his and I was like, yeah. oh. You know, it's a, a good camera doesn't like break the bank, but it's better. It's better than like the one that like somehow like your your like dad would get like baited, <laughs> in, you know, like he's like, oh, it's a great deal. You know, it says Canon and it's a great deal. It's like, hey, come on, you know, like at some point you got to understand that you're you're just paying for the fact that you uh, got the Canon name on it and you got no bells and whistles inside it. <laughs> right exactly i know what you mean i know what you mean well that's awesome i um i've never used one so you have to let me know what what you think for sure what i like about it is because i was messing around with my sister's nikon okay and um what i i guess i just didn't realize that all cameras didn't do this the the canon was the, what i messed around with first and then i was messing around with the nikon but the nikon if I'm if I'm uh, messing with the settings, mm -hmm. it doesn't change on the viewfinder on the digital viewfinder. Oh, like, okay. so I'm only actually getting like whether I'm in focus or not. I'm not really I'm not seeing um, the actual change in the photo, but like I can mess with it and, you know, I'll see the light meter and everything like that. And it'll tell me where I'm at on that. But and maybe that actually helped me because I wasn't really looking at the meters and stuff. I wasn't paying attention to the numbers. 
but then I get onto a camera that doesn't handhold me all the way through. And all of a sudden I'm doing, I'm doing more technical work as it yeah. like, as it, you know, uh, relates to what I'm looking at, you know, I'm actually yeah. getting like, I'm getting readings and, and applying that to the photo. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's almost le like learning another language. And once you finally get it, you're like, Oh, I, I like the light bulb goes off. Right, right. And so like, it always scares me when people are like, it's like learning another language. I was like, you don't know how terrible I am at Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I think Aww. I studied Spanish for 12 years, something like that. I am just got awful at it. I don't know. <laughs> I, it, it was you can't be that bad i'm horrible i can give you some numbers i can give you some obscure sentences some colors but uh if i'm supposed to be surviving somewhere in a spanish-speaking country i'm it's not gonna work it's not gonna work. <laughs> gotcha well good to know up front i'm so glad we did this uh interview in english <laughs> right right yeah i was not i don't have my chops up for the spanish uh spanish version yet 